I'm playing uh, Shadow of the Avatar again because today is R14 release day. Um, so for the R14 release, uh, all the characters have been wiped, so we're starting again. Create a new character. I'm time to go for a female this time. Let's be a bit tall for a female though. I'm um, liking that. No, no, that's. Oh dear, no. Interesting. Any noise. Let's go for it. The old big old eyes. Yeah, nose tip position. Oop, oop. Nice one. Yes, let's do that. Exactly. Keep that as the default. Interesting. Mm. To be honest, anything that's not in the middle looks a bit looks a bit weird there. All right, let's carry on. Don't want to spend too much time doing this. Let's see. Right, oh. Interesting. Not going for any of that though. Cheek. There we go. Dual plane roundness. Oh, I see. Let's go a bit around. A bit around it. Bit narrower. Ooh, interesting. Let's go with that. We're going for it. 
I'm sure that's what you are watching this video for, was five minutes of character creation. But uh, let's get on with actual features. Now I assume we're going to end up in the tutorial once again. I don't know how much that's uh, changed. Probably not that much. So, while this is loading, we'll talk about... Uh, oh, it's nearly there. So the reason why... Uh, hello, Edvard. Thanks for the hint. The reason why the characters are in set is that this release... This release, for the first time, gives you access to your backer rewards. But your backer rewards aren't in your character initially, because this release also implements for the first time encumbrance. So while well, my character's busy hacking away at the practice dummy, which is apparently indestructible. We'll have a quick look. Encumbrance 29.2 of 80.85. So, as I understand it, your encumbrance comes from comes from your strength, basically. So you can see everything now. Well, nearly everything has a weight, and the weight contributes towards this 29.2. It doesn't actually look right, to be fair, because surely if there's two things that are 1.2, the encumbrance should come to 29.4. It's going to come to anything, but we're not worried about that for now. Right, I've finished attacking the, the, the practice dummy. Let's have a quick explore before we carry on. Oh, there's a the gateway, yes. I'm not going to go in there yet, though. Let's go up here and see what's going on. There's the bridge. The battleground in ruins. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Oh, uh, dead body, handy. Oh, a little animation for the dead bodies this time. And oh, we've got some gold. That's so nice. Uh, a lot of stuff here as well. Jar. Vial. Bottle A. Filled flask. I'll pick the filled flask up. Let's see. Where's the field flask? So it has a weight of one. So my encumbrance, yeah, see my encumbrance has now gone up one. No. Destroy. Yes. My encumbrance is back. So it's not complicated, I guess. Thank that bloke for his gold. Let's just leap down. Uh, let's rest a bit. Let's go and have a look at the flaming building. Uh, archery range. Never had arrows. Yeah, I can have a quiver, though. What's that? Oh, it's another quiver. No one's got any actual arrows though. There's a ladder. I can go up the ladder. I'm on fire. How entertaining. Let's go down the ladder again. I'm still on fire. No, I'm not on fire anymore. Right, let's get on with it. Enough fanning around. Let's look at some new features and stuff. Oh, there's another body here, look. More gold. This is good. I don't remember there being uh, dead bodies before. Maybe I just didn't notice them. Oh, but before, we started with gold, didn't we? So maybe now 
This is a. Uh, oh, you learn learn to loot things. You go along. Iron shield. And another body to loot. Inventory. All right. So let's equip the iron shield. Good man. Another body to loot there. Two bodies to loot. Right, I'm prepared. Go! How about you? There we go. Dead skeleton. So I can loot skeleton man. Get some gold. I can loot this guy. The skeletons don't have an animation, but the humans do. Let's put the sword away and regenerate. Let's double click the body, or click take all, yes, yes, yes. Continue across the bridge and look for Edvard. Oh, more bodies. So, I don't know whether they're just giving me the gold, you know. I think I would have figured out looting, to be honest. Like a little weird thing. Yeah. Right, let's kill Mr. Skeleton, who's patiently waiting for me to uh, pay attention to him. Of a bunch of rusty swords, so I'm assuming I'm fairly encumbered now. Yes, 44.2. So halfway, did I loot that guy? Yes. No, uh, oh, another skeleton. Come and get it, you. I don't know if gold gold counts towards the encumbrance, I'm not sure. Twenty five experience in the skeletons. Right, let's get out of here and go and look at some of the other new stuff. Oh, another body. More gold. More gold. It's interesting. The moral position, I suppose, of... Um, you start the game and you start off by losing a lot of corpses. There you go. Hello, Edvard. Farewell. Right, let's trundle up the hill, up to Braemar and have a look around. To Braemar. So this release, as I mentioned, is the first release where you actually get your uh, proper set of founder rewards. But because of the encumbrance, you obviously can't just start with all of them because you won't be able to move. Uh, so also this is the release where they've introduced banks and bankers. So for now, I think the town criers are also bankers. But eventually, the, the, there will be proper banks in the major cities, you know, Owl's Head and uh, Ardress and all of those places. Uh, right. 
combat, first steps. All of that malarkey. We're going to right. Uh, this conglomerate of people, I presume, is around the skills trainer. Yes. Let's just quickly check that. I think that there are new new skills, although it looks the same. Or at least some of the old skills are now are now um, innate, and some of the innate ones are actions. There have been some changes. To be honest, I've not been paying so much attention that I could tell you what they are at this point. I can't even remember what they were before. Um, sun. Can I get onto my quick bar? Somehow? No, I'm not sure. I'm sure I did work out to that before. Villages, villages. So obviously there are a whole load of uh, new locations as well in this. In this. Um, let's just equip a tool. What should be done with it? And there is a grand tour which will allow us to see all these new locations. Braemar the Banker and Town Crier. Alright, so here in the bank are uh, all of my all of my reward things. A lot of them are just essentially placeholders at this point. Uh, my coconuts, because they haven't put horses in. But in compensation they've uh, Given back as a pair of pair of coconut halves, so they can uh, make horsey noises with them, which I will have to try at some point. But yes, instead of everyone just starting with with basic same set of stuff, I now have access to a whole load of uh, rather excellent looking armour, plate boots, plate chest armour. And I can of course sell all that if I want to, to uh, for the money. Um, in the eventual game I won't get that back, it'll be gone forever. If I sell all my special rewards and everything. Uh, for now, almost certainly, I will be a snowball box. Uh, everything will get reset again at some point in the future. And that will reset the banks as well. Nice hat. So that's the bankers. Uh, let's see, is there, a, there should be a tour guide around here. That's him. With a rather fetching princess hat. Which is, you know, at least one good reason to go with a woman character this time. Because it'll probably suit my character better like that. Uh, so, is there anything else to see in Braemar? Who's this woman? Barmaid. And they're in a conversation. Yes, yes. And the quest system. So the barmaid's concerned about her safety. Oh, interesting view. Now this bloke has a quest, I believe. He always does before. Can I help you? Short on ale. Quest and task, here we go. Inquire with the innkeeper in Kingsport. Now I've never actually completed a quest before. I've tried, and obviously I've just been confused. Just been confused about these things. So, one of my goals for this release 
is to, is to figure out quests a bit better. But we'll not do it now. Uh, anything else worth investigating? Let's go and have a look in this house. Who's this bloke? Oh, it's a merchant. Yes, so... One of the things that was going to change in this release is that uh, merchants will now be, I don't know what the word is, type, type specific. Uh, they, they will, so you can't just walk up to the vegetable merchant and sell them all your armour. That's not going to work. Uh, also, prices will respond to market pressures, so if he runs out of repair kits then the price will go up. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's sell the rusty swords. Let's see if this bloke will do it. Yes, he will. So it's possible this is the starter merchant, and he'll still just buy buy anything you want. Uh, there's a crafting table in here. And unsurprisingly, there's nothing I can make yet because I don't have any of the ingredients. But never mind. Let's stop stop hammering away at that. Speak to the villager. I survived the journey by teleportation. I see. Welcome to Braemar. The dead are up and watering, slaughtering innocents. And these fools, who are these fools? That's the problem. There's always a they. Always there. Right, let's head out of town. And finish up on the world map. I think, uh, Next time I'll, I'll attempt the uh, the Grand Tour. I may may spend some time levelling up first over the weekend. Although I might not have much time because it's Super Bowl weekend. We've got people coming over, so I might be a bit delayed. Usually doing my usual Grand Tour videos, but I do intend to do them um, air quotes properly again this time by levelling up and actually killing stuff rather than running around and hoping to complete before I die. It's my strategy before last time. Just uh, get into the world map just to see if anything, uh, anything vastly different there. I don't think there's anything announced for it. No, other than, other than the new scenes. I'm not going to go anywhere. The world of New Britannia. Right, you are. No, it doesn't look to be too much different, apart from I presume there are there are extra areas on it. Uh, one of the features that's been pushed back from this release is they were going to switch to a Unity 5, which should have allowed for a general improvement in the graphics. Um, I think there will be a Unity 5 build available to um, developer level backers, which is quite a lot more money than I've put into it. Uh, but in general, everybody everybody else is still on the Unity 4 build, so maybe next time those, uh, those sort of improvements. Um, so, there we go. Shadow of the Avatar pre-alpha release 14. I'll uh, see you next time.